What's going on everybody? It's your guy Waddles here and welcome back to the Let's Play world. I've gotten a lot of really nice comments telling me, hey Waddles, you're a pretty good builder. I like how you build and that kind of stuff and thank you so much, but I've never thought I was that great of a builder until today. Today is the game changer day. I think I'm an amazing builder. I think you're going to be really impressed with this new wall design that I've come up with. Uh, I'm sneaking up to it. We're in the ice caves that we did last episode and the big reveal, the amazing design that's breathtaking and, you know, just shows that uh, I know how to build is... Boom! <laughs> look at that! Doesn't that wallpaper look amazing? I think it just... This is the pinnacle, the peak of building. Never seen anything built better in ever. In, in ever. Nothing has been built better than this wall right here. Uh, I, it glows with greatness and... Uh, I just feel like a really good builder now. Uh, now that I've built this, so... Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm kidding. I, it's all a joke. The chicken farm works well. It's been running since last episode. I had some issues with it, but it seems to be working better now. Um, this is going to become my food supply, or at least food supply while I'm over here. But today we're going to do a giant map wall. This is another ice spike cave project. We're running two projects at the same time. We'll see how I can handle that. Probably not well. I dug out a little bit more space here and then have a, a giant bright wall because I like it when maps are very illuminated. This is 64 and 25 more um, pumpkins here. So that's how many maps we're going to have in here. Uh, I dug the cave this way, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And then I started digging it out this way and found a cave system. So that's kind of cool. We'll talk about that a little later too. Um, but we're going to start with small maps like this. And I'm just going to go and try and get the swamp and the end on it. So the swamp is... Uh, I can never tell in the spiral staircase. The swamp is that way and that way. Um, then the end is a little bit that way. Now, I'm not too sure how exactly I want to do this episode, because a lot of this is just map making. But also, I need to fit everything on the map, so the storage building is way further south than anything else. So, I don't know what to do here, because if I started here, this would go pretty much up to the top already, and... That defeats the purpose, right? I wanted a zoomed-in world map, so I think I'm gonna have to, like dig down here like further make the wall even taller and then do like fences and a staircase viewing area lower or something um but i can tell you this is already gonna have to move over here because um the end is over here and then the swamp would be all the way over there i think so yeah i think a lot of this will be done off camera today uh at least for this episode and then and then I'll come back when I think I need to. I'm just going to go and try and collect a lot of maps here. I have all the supplies easily. I have lots of um, iron, lots of redstone, lots of all of that. But I, I just need time. It takes lots of time here. Good and bad. I've hit the swamp, I got my boat on the map, but the bad thing is, look at how far it is, so those two actually go right there, um, but yeah, that's a long stretch of nothing, there's absolutely nothing up in here in our world that I've built yet, so it would be really pointless to map all of this absolute nothingness so what i'm thinking is i will move all of these maps down this way because i will have the cave go this way anyway so we could have the cave go under the beam here and onwards into whatever we do you know um and so that should move the boat over into this area so then i can map more of what we actually have built in and probably will build in uh, it's just really pointless to map a bunch of stuff that I don't think anything will ever be in, you know? 
However, on the other side of things, the map making is actually going really enjoyable and fun. I'm just chilling here listening to some music and map making. You can see my road from the end. This is where the end is going all the way over and then kind of ending where it ends at the moment. But yeah, it's actually a really fun project so far, and I'm glad that I'm finally doing this. I've wanted to do a proper giant map wall for quite some time, so kind of happy about all of this. Okay, here's the final maps for today. That's not right. Uh, that goes there. That goes there, and then that goes there. There we go. Look at that. That's really awesome actually and i feel like i could actually pull this back over this way so this is more centered but then again this goes over to the witch farm which might be cool to get on the map over here in the corner this will be a bunch of unused space at the moment so maybe i'll block this with something temporarily but that's all i'm doing today i'll work on this uh, off camera or i'll try to you know, slowly expand this. Uh, this captures a lot of our world, though. All of the swamp is in here easily. Um, and then we have all the way over here is the path. That's where the end is. Eventually, I'd like to have this kind of go all the way through all of this over to here, which looks crazy, but uh, you have to remember these are zoomed in maps, fully zoomed in. But the next project of the day is going to be a bit of a hallway another hallway coming off of here i think initially i was going to do it over in here and i'm still kind of torn as to where i want to do this but i want to do a map hall for zoomed in maps because this is the map for the storage building um it would stick off of this map right here going straight down and i just don't want to do that i want to have more of a uh, an even bottom, like the bottom is here and that's where the bottom is type thing. So I either want to go in here with a hallway that goes back or I want to go over here with a hallway that goes back. I think I'm going to do over here though because then you would kind of look out at a map and might be kind of cool, I think. I have another plan for over there that would work just as fine. So I got to dig a little bit of a haul in here and then we'll start setting up some little showcasing areas basically for individual small, small zoomed in maps. The feel and the concept for this hallway is more of a real hall and less of a cave. So we're going to do like supports and beams and all of that kind of business uh so maybe we do an arch to start um i guess like that and then i usually like odds so you know what let's pull this over one uh towards the inside because i really want to have an odd um middle you know so i could do like lighting or whatever down the down the middle here so we'll do a beam to go in though like an arch like that, I'll probably pull the ceiling up a little bit so the arch stands out. Then I want to go and do like uh, maybe some brick. I've been really liking brick lately, so let's make a bunch of brick blocks and try what, or, or try to see, you know, what we can do with these. Maybe we go like every so often we just do that. And then we could go inside here and do probably like smooth sandstone. And then I'll do always lighting behind a map. So if there's a map, there'll be jack-o'-lanterns or some kind of lighting behind it. But maybe like smooth sandstone, right? That could look kind of cool. Um, maybe we'll go like three high with the smooth sandstone. And then we could do probably in the ceiling here... Um, I think oak might look kind of nice with with that in the ceiling, kind of arching over probably. So we'd go up in there with slabs, I think. Um, yeah, and then I guess kind of just continuing to arch or maybe slightly arching up a little bit more. So like we go like that and then going up here, we just go up in the middle. Um... Let me dig this out a little bit here. There we go. Like uh, that maybe could be the shape, the whole idea. Now, I don't want to take the hall too far. 
um yeah i think that would be perfect because then we'd have a nice little curve going on in there uh but yeah i don't want to go too far because uh i'd like to have this uh be a build that i can expand when i need to expand it not just dig it really big and then have it empty forever you know so i think i'll set this up a tiny bit like like just dig a little bit more out and then call it call it the end of this thing but i think that'll be the plan this will be the whole design that i'll throw in i think i i like what i'm doing here and what i'm seeing then we'll test it out and throw some maps in here i think that would be a good idea how about something like this we add in some spruce or depth i think that would look really really nice uh it'll add you know the whole effect of of some kind of interesting ceiling going on if we have those bands coming in every once in a while i don't know what to do over these arches though i guess maybe just copying the spruce that i just threw in but then it gets weird up here because we have this like flat connection there so i i don't know i think it'll be like a temporary thing throwing in these uh spruce bands over the arches and then maybe later i go and change it because we're only doing this first segment for now so um the floor <sighs> i mean i still have to do the floor in here too i need to figure out a better idea than all mycelium i don't want everything to be mycelium that would be a little too much um I could see like some kind of mossy floor going on in here. Maybe we come back in here and do it later. I could see water in here, like underneath glass. I could see a lot of different things in, in this little area. So anyways, uh, maps. I have an interesting haul here because it is five and not every map is going to be, you know, like five or or two or one even. So I think I'll throw the maps in here kind of uneven and almost like randomly i don't know how it'll look i've never really done a build like this in the first place but maybe like over here i go and do a, a, a two by two little map area because i have a map that is two by two and then i could do a one map right there because i have a one wide map as well so let's do four frames one I mean, it's going to be uneven, but I think it's one of those things that's just, it is what it is. It's uneven. Uh, I think it might look better, like, when we get more maps in here. But that's the witch farm. That's an individual map. And then over here, we have the storage building. This is an individual map because it doesn't fit on the big world map, right? So anything that's not necessarily on this map goes in this hallway and then i'd like to label them with signs like witch farm okay so i think we'll go on the brick with the sign and uh just put what it is so that's matilda the witch farm and then over here we'll do uh like storage um hub i don't have a better cooler name for it for now so we'll just do that but I think that'll be the plan, and then I could see plants coming in in here, and water and everything. But like I said, that'll be a project for another time. So we'll get more maps in here. Maybe like a zoomed out world map could go in here, or something in the end. You know, just any extra smaller maps will go in here always, I think, from now on. But yeah, that's the plan. I think it all looks good, and I love this giant map. I can't wait till it's all done, and I can stand in front of it like like this and have the whole wall as a map but i hope you enjoyed today's episode my name is waddles uh if you're interested in directly supporting me you can do so on patreon there's a link in the description you get access to a fan server you can join the danger chat for a community that's really awesome and you should subscribe if you haven't yet thank you for watching i will see you next time goodbye everybody